Hello, it is actually motherfucking Sunday. Fuck off, asshole! Leave me alone! Don't you know it's fucking Sunday? going to patch together a new instrument uh using for today just just the toy box stuff we're just gonna get into doing that so um let's drag the clock down here let's get the stereo outs going and let's open this bad boy up a little bit and what we're gonna do is we're going to <clears throat> start bringing in some toy box. So let's look up just free packs, free pack. And we can start getting in a oscillator and a mini oscillator. So let's go ahead and do that. And I know for a fact that I'm going to use a free pack filter and mini filter. So let's get that in here as well. And let's look up the VCA. So we have a dual VCA. And let's look up the envelope. And so as you can see, what I'm doing is just typing in the name of the family and kind of what I'm looking for. And I get right to it. It's really awesome. Um, so we'll use this. And let's see what we have for a mixer. Three pack mix. Four channel mixer, stereo out. It's exactly what I'm looking for there. And let's go ahead and just keep this on the low, low. So let's patch the um, pitch cables. And we'll make these red. We'll try to we'll try to do our color coding right out of the gate here. See if we can keep that going. That'll make things easy, easy peasy. And then um, we'll go ahead and patch the gate signal to the envelope, and that's gonna be a teal color. And uh, this envelope out is going to go into the Input. <clears throat> and it's going to be a modulation. So um, technically we are a blue color. It's going to go into, actually it's not going to go into, it's not going into one. Um, so we'll delete that, but that'll be the color. It's going to go into mod A. and. I remember right we're going to modulate these down that's actually going to turn these <clears throat> up <clears throat> if that makes sense so uh we'll mod these down hopefully uh that does right we'll just keep an eye on the signal there and keep an ear out uh then let's start patching in our audio cables so audio being purple um that's going to go oscillator into filter. 
filter into, well, not the mix. No. Let's tap on that once and delete that. <clears throat> and then we're going to go out into the VCA. That's going to be input one. And then this filter, input two. And then uh, let's just start tapping on things, making sure our keyboard's working, making sure we even have it turned on in this thing. Um, let's get our mini oscillator patched into our filter. And it looks like we have some modulation happening there. So that is all good. And really, we can go out one and two. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, we can go out of the mix, though. We can do whatever we want to do, really. But I'm going to go out one into input one and out two into input two of the mixer. And now we know how to delete something like a dumbass. Uh, but, um, yeah, let's just bring that right next to the VCA. That's fine for now. And if we go out into the output, we will start hearing and seeing some sound. All right, cool. I'm gonna keep the original dialed in. What's the auxiliary input? Let's see, mixer, what can you tell me? Four channel mixer. Uh, a dry wet control. Ring A, ring D, AM, sample hold or mix. I mean, not sure what the aux does. I will, I will look into trying to figuring that out at some point. But at any rate, um, pretty badass oscillators. This is a mini version of this uh, oscillator beast here. And if we go out, let's go out modulation blue into the FM uh, circuits of each other. So we're going to go output of the oscillator into the FM of the mini and then output of the mini into the FM. Pretty badass. And getting a lot of heat, so we can probably turn this down a little bit. Turn it down, one and two. Cool. And then here we have our envelope control. And these are some pretty cool controls. Causes the envelope to loop, triggering the attack phase after. And that's an interesting thing, because it basically just turns this into a loop function. So check this out. So it's it's a <clears throat> it's definitely a cool function because it allows you to audition the uh, the way the envelope sounds without you having to continuously hit the key. Like obviously, I would have to be hitting the key right now. And look, ma, no hands, right? So cycle just allows it to trigger this envelope continuously. It just needs an input, and it'll re-trigger it uh, continuously. You can dial it in to whatever length you like. And obviously the feedback will, um, you know, you'll hear the difference right away, you know. Really badass. <clears throat> uh... 
Um, so let's see what we got in the sequencer category. So we'll patch in the gauge signal. It's going to be a teal. And our play, reset. I like this idea of chain. Let's find out. I think that's what that does, is you can chain these things together to run like multiple sequencers running different patterns in a chain. Use the chain input and output ports to daisy chain multiple instances of the gate sequencer block together to create sequences of any length. A positive signal at the chain input port causes sequence to play once. When the sequence reaches the last step, it sends a positive signal to the chain output, causing next block. So connect the chain output of the last block to the back to the chain input of the first block to create a loop, and that, so that makes sense. So <clears throat> I can chain multiple of these together. That's what that means. So badass stuff. And um, let's get a sequence that we like. Note merge. Merges pitch and gate signals together. I mean, come on. Let's see what this does. be confusing things for right now I'll mess with you later but <clears throat> um, let's get some sort of a sequence going on this thing I don't know what what key we want to be in but we'll just see Then let's start having this affect the pitch of the oscillators.
So I could turn off cycle and this will just trigger it. Well, should just trigger it. Ah, gate. That's what is missing. So that's going to be our teal color. So we got something going, <clears throat> and let's see if we can make this a little musical here. That's pretty cool. So you know that if um, if you duplicate, then it duplicates the connections. But obviously, it can't duplicate connections to where it's going to. Um, but from here, I can go ahead. I 
can go ahead and set up the gate to trigger the chain. So, That's where that pitch merge comes in handy. Merges. Is that what I'm looking for? Pitch merge. It's exactly what I'm looking for, right? So I can take both of these pitch signals and and then Coordinate this back to the pitch. See, it's triggering this one correctly, and it's triggering back to this one correctly. But this one's not giving me any sound for some reason. Ah, it's a gate. It's not, ah, uh, I wonder if I have a gate merge. The gate is not triggering the envelope. That's what's happening. So, three pack. Gate merge? Ha! <laughs> yes, sir. So we're going to do a gate merge and merge the gate signal. See, it's a learning process, y'all. It's a learning process. We're going to merge the gate signals from here. And gate is teal. <clears throat> and go out of the gate, merge, and into here. I like the lights that light up. That's helpful as fuck. That's nice. Oh, and it merges all these into this? That's cool, too. It's cool to see that. Very nice. All right, I like it. All right, so then out of the, this gate as well, into... Now we're running. Now we're cooking with gas. So... I have two note sequencers uh, chained together. Call this note sequencer one. And note sequencer two. And 
and because they each their own have their own uh, pitch signals, they each their own have their own gate signals. You, if you want, you know those then to both trigger, you know, a set of oscillators or a set of envelopes or whatever, then you have to merge those together. You know what I mean? If that's if that's the end result, if that's what you're going for, which if you want to chain things in a sequence, I assume that's what you're trying to do is hear it all. <laughs> so in order to do that, you'll definitely want to merge it. Um, so good stuff, but it's a learning process, right? And uh, badass. But now note sequencer one can run this sequence. Note sequencer two is essentially a copy of this, so it's running the same sequence, but I can now set this to a different sequence. So, I can set the light guide. That's cool. So, um, We got some something somewhat cool going. So uh now that we got some basics. See what else we got going on. Let's kind of build a little bit of an effects loop. I like uh a bit shifter idea and a distortion idea. So let's see what's going on here.
So let's create like a little bit of an effects loop. Let's see. Basically, just go back into the mixer. <laughs> yeah, the mixer effects loop section is already looking pretty ra raging crazy, but I like it. Let's add a rounds reverb just because I like fucking reverb. This bitch. for the fun part, modulation. I'm gonna modulate with uh, the mod wheel for today.
until next time.